Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at constructive plate boundaries. Now remember when you're drawing a diagram or you're explaining constructive plate boundaries, it's not enough to just write um, some text or to draw a diagram. Ideally you need to do both. You need to draw a uh, diagram and also include that diagram in your explanation. Now for a constructive plate boundary, what you need to first do, as you can see, is draw two oceanic plates. Oceanic plates mean that these plates are underwater. Um, as you can see, um, they are covered by the sea or by something uh, along those lines. Now what moves these oceanic plates is, uh, as with all tectonic plates, you have the uh, convection currents, um, which we're now labeling. These convection currents rise up from a hot spot deep inside the mantle and uh, as they get pushed up uh, on either side uh, they move outwards and the friction that uh, they generate between the oceanic plate and the moving magma of the convection currents pulls the two oceanic plates apart. It's basically part of the theory of plate tectonics. The gap that is generated between these two plates um, allow some of that magma to be pushed outwards in the form of lava because magma is beneath the surface and lava is on the surface and as they get pushed out on either side um, over many many thousands if not millions of years they begin to form the most typical uh, constructive plate boundary feature which we call ocean ridges. The most famous of the ocean ridges is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge as you can see labelled on the diagram. Uh, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge runs all the way up the uh, Atlantic Ocean and typically separates the North American Plate and the Eurasian Plate in the Northern Hemisphere. And if you want to use the Southern uh, Hemisphere example, you can talk about the um, South American Plate and the African Plate. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.